morning, good afternoon, good night, good one, wherever you are, whenever you are. I hope you're having an awesome day. My name is Leticia and I'm here today to apply some makeup on my face. Uh, a quick update, like last time I'd apply some makeup on my face was the first time I was applying makeup on my face since I had dermatitis and it was a cool test. I did get some irritation around this area and I think uh, basically the irritation as far as I could feel like when I applied um, was due to the mica, that's my hypothesis. Uh, so basically eyeshadow, glitter. Most people don't have uh, mica as a retent, uh, like a allergic, um, aggressive component on their face, but the thing is, um, when you were talking about glitter, the particles might be like very abrasive in the, in the skin. So my theory now is kind of get, coming up like together. So it's basically like what I think because of all of this, I was using retinol and salicylic acid to clean my, <clears throat> my face and then my cleanser that made my skin um, very sensitive, very, very reactive and then just build up on that so basically then my health issues that i had that i've told you guys about in other videos that i told you people about in other videos and then um you know like constant like applying glitter and things like that that reacted like with my skin and i think like it's just like the barrier my skin is very compromised right now so what i'm doing like after i noticed all that like i applied makeup like saturday morning saturday night i noticed it was already irritated here when i took off my makeup so i'm applying like a uh, moisturizer with colloidal oat things <laughs> in it. Uh, it it's helping a lot so i think like my skin was also getting very like dry because it doesn't feel dry but it was also it was probably very sensitive sensitized so that's what i'm doing like i'm trying to moisturize more and not use like anything that is too abrasive on the skin and also like i'm back with my jewelry because i'm testing it out i think like i will have to also like watch out for the nickel like for example those are silver but i have some like earrings and other things that have nickel on it and I noticed I started to get a little itchy nothing like dermatitis but I think I will have to um, buy jewelry jewelry like actual gold and silver to replace those but that's something else so that was a long introduction but just so you guys like catch up with me and know like what's going on so basically I could I've already wore like makeup once after the the allergy uh, disappeared and everything went fine and everything went fine because I didn't use anything with mica. That's my thought. I have something to show you guys. Like I don't. So basically what I did is that I made this table and basically here's like the makeup I used that day. I think until here, like the middle and then other makeups that I have. So I basically uh, searched for all of them in a specific site that you put uh, inside the ingredients, the whole list of ingredients. And then uh, the site tells you like um, mica, I searched it by myself, but like paraben free, alcohol free, silicon free, fungal acne, like if it's good for, if it makes it worse and fragrance free. So as you can see, like basically all my makeup is like bad here, good here, but that's very usual I, uh, for what I could tell. And the only thing that I saw that might vary was the mica and that then I researched about it and all of that. So that's how I got here basically. That's why I think like it's not an allergy per se. I think it's more connected to like just sensitizing my skin, skin and like taking like kind of almost like scratching my, my skin. And the area of the eyes are the first ones to react because it's very, very, very thin. So, okay five minutes just the introduction but you guys needed to know in order to understand what's going on so i told last video that i bought some phytosurgeons makeup and we are gonna apply some new phytosurgeons makeup today i'm not gonna use a primer today i was thinking of just like testing out not using a primer and seeing how my skin reacts so basically 
uh, Mac Finn's face and body uh, see to. I like to apply this foundation with my hands, like you can see, because of the heat. The heat helps it to apply better, at least as far as I could tell. Just so you can see, like, so just so you can see, the coverage is very light, but at the same time. It gives something and I think it's a very pretty finishing. So now it's blush time. I can't ap apply my bronzer because my bronzer has mica. So I'm gonna wait and I'm not gonna apply any anything that has mica because last time I didn't apply either and it worked out. So because I'm going to use something new now, I can't just introduce a lot of products, otherwise I, I won't know what's going on. So those that I already did find I have mica that I applied before and caused me a reaction possibly. I'm not going to apply. I'm just going to apply the new ones. The blush though, the one Seamer from Fido Surgeons that I applied last time, it, it doesn't have mica and I'm not sure I'm not even sure if it is mica. It might be like a specific fragrance. I don't think I have problems with all fragrances, but I might have problems with a couple of those. I have the new brushes. From Fido Surgeons. Oh, the new brushes. One is for highlighter. The other one is for the blush. And I'm so excited to use it. I'm so excited. I just want you people to see that Seamer is the color I have. The color they say it's like a neutral pink. So it will be like not too pink, not too orangey, will be right in the middle. I agree, but when you put it close to my face, you see that there's, it's very warm still, but I agree. Fervor is, the new one, the new blush I have from them. Ooh, 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 it melts, it, it melts more, crazy. Okay. Ooh, Fervor has some lilac to it. Wow. So what I, what I said, like, it kind of like melts more. Um, Seamer that I have at least, it's uh, tougher. Not in a bad way at all, not at all, but it's tougher. Then I bought Fume which is a dusty brown rose and i am so hyped to use this so hyped because i think that this on me will be almost a bronzer i know it sounds very weird but i think it will be almost a bronzer and inferno inferno is like totally out of my comfort zone it's like rusty brick but I bought Inferno because sometimes I might have something very cool like Fervor and I might want to mix with a little bit of um, heat. <laughs> so, oh, wow, it's very creamy too. Look at this. Oh, it's almost like chocolate. Jesus Christ, it's like melted chocolate. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So, so. This is Simmer, the more neutral one, the pink neutral. This is the Fervor, the one that uh, it's more pink in lilac. This is Fume, that is the dusty one. And this is Inferno, which is more like bricky color. I want to apply, I honest, I tell you, I want to apply all of them, just like my face. I don't, <laughs> that's not normal to me. Like blush was never a big thing. But I think I've been watching Kaki uh, Reveals Beauty and um, Hannah Louise Poston too much. So I'm like, blush, 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 blush. Uh, so, okay. Let's dab it on. Wait, I don't know which one is for what. Okay, mystery solved. So, 
Sky Fluff is for the blushes, which is the bigger one. Sky Buff is for the highlighter, which I suppose makes sense because you need less area for a specific highlighter. Though, like, my face is so small. <laughs> Let's see if I can manage this. I think I'm gonna apply Inferno first. I think I'm gonna apply Fume first. Inferno is gonna be the last. Fume is a dusty one, and I have hopes that Fume would be almost a, a bronzer. So let's see if I'm right. I'm picking it up. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh, wow. They are completely right. This brush is so good for this. I thought that my brush was already good. This brush is excellent for this. It's perfect for this product. And seeing as I love this product, as you can clearly tell, because I just, I just have four blushes of the same brand. But also, Something that I recommend, like don't don't buy four at once unless you're completely sure that you like the brand. Buy one, test it out. Then if you like it, you buy another one. Ooh, I have shadows going on here. I think that's I think so. I honestly it's almost I'm gonna try to pick it up directly from the package. For me it's almost a hybrid between a bronzer and a honestly this for me it's a blonde bronzer <laughs> bronzer with a blush blush blusher blouse blouser <laughs> you understand okay i love it and i honestly I could stop here. Wow. It was, I didn't know that it was gonna look this good. Such a good experience. Okay, now I'm gonna go slowly, <laughs> a little slowly with Fervor, which is the new. I'm not, I'm not gonna use Seamer today because I think like Seamer has already had, you know, other chances to shine here. So I'm gonna go slowly with fervor. Pick up a little bit. Da, da. Okay, I'm super pink now. <laughs> Someone's feverish. So it depends on the light. In this light in the camera looks like it's a lot, but in the mirror it doesn't look like it's a lot. So the, the camera the camera is actually making it look a little worse than it is let me blend a little bit just tone it down and carefully with inferno i just want like a tip tip just to see how oh my god it's so creamy look how much just i just wanna just a little bit little bit of it Wow, this is perfect for watercoloring. Is you can't see any of the, okay. You can't see any of the colors like specifically on my skin. You can tell what is what. It just it just builds up and it's beautiful. And if you want, I suppose we could use in your eyes too, like as an eyeshadow. I I think that would be very pretty, but. I got some eyeshadows from them. Just two, just two. But before, we're gonna talk about this new Spectral Shine Highlighter, Divine Daylight from Feta Surgeon. This is the <laughs> color that is a hybrid. This one um, is the Frank, Frank, Franking Shine, which, is 
a hybrid between two colors and that's exactly what I wanted because I, I will go to their website and I'll be like I want this color but with a little bit of this color this one's too light this one's too dark and they made it I was so excited for this let's see though let's see oh yeah this is more solid but with the temperature I, I can feel that it starts to melt let's see oh yeah it just needs to warm up a little bit I think you can see like here that it already changed a little bit the texture see it's just like a shine because it's so similar to my skin so it's ba basically just adding this <clears throat> shine dimension okay so we're gonna apply some oh yeah, my god okay I'm gonna try to pick up with the brush and you guys know that I'm not like the biggest <gasps> oh my god okay so I was gonna say that you guys know for what I could tell you guys already that I'm not the biggest fan of highlighters but this oh my god look okay where was this my whole life I don't know but I can tell you I can tell you this is love at first application wow let me see if I can okay let me see wow yeah you can buff it in because this brush is very nice so you can just buff it in wow I don't even like highlighters I don't even like highlighters because usually I think that they're too overwhelming this is like it's almost mimicking the oils of my own skin like in a good way not in a bad way of course wow I wow I don't know what to say just wow just wow okay shocked totally shocked Let, let's move on um i got only two shadows eyeshadows i wanted to get all of them but i mean i, c I can't just waste all my salary on this uh, not that it's super expensive it's it's not it's a good price but as you can see i bought a lot at <laughs> once so um i got velvet leaf which is like a dark moss green and deeply rooted which is um a brown brownish gray and i think that those both of those colors should look good with my brown eyes I'm, i try really hard to look at the right side of the camera i'm sorry I, i'm really trying <laughs> okay so i'm gonna start with deeply rooted the brown brow gray oh very creamy very gray indeed I don't use warm colors like on my clothing nothing like that because they don't really suit me but in the eyes it's kind of okay because of the brown in my eyes so it's kind of like it just kind of help like I was thinking actually you guys let me know if you want about doing a video only where I talk about color theory maybe more than one video so let me know if you guys want so this is velvet leaf and this is deeply rooted and the uh, jaws drop in so let's try i'm going to try up applying with the um, brush because i usually don't and i want to see how it goes so first deeply rooted i'm just depo depositing some product and now i can go in circular motions just blurring blending so easily it's crazy isn't it like you could just say like okay I'm ready 
some weird shadows here on my face. I, I swear I'm, I'm gonna look into this. I'm gonna buy some extra lightning. It's just such a gloomy rainy day outside. It's like, so helping me. Ignore my lack of concealer, please. <laughs> yeah, it looks bad because of my shadows, but basically it's a great one and done eyeshadow. Yeah, right now I, it's really making me look like I have... <laughs> Let me try to do something. I just applied some more foundation, even though like the magnificent body is super light, just, you know, to give a little coverage. I was, so you guys can understand better what's the color. So Deeply Rooted is a perfect like all over shadow. It's very cool though, very cool. So if you don't like that, you won't like Deeply Rooted, but I think it's very beautiful. And I bought it because I thought it was great too be like an all over shadow and then i can just go in with accents and all that was on top of it let's see if it works so definitely i would apply them with my finger and i don't i don't like very much how they apply it's not that i don't like it's just like you can make them the pay the color pay more pay off more if you apply with your finger see because if you apply with your brush, it just like washes out like you did here. It just kind of created mud. But now with the finger, it just pops up much more. So I just went in with a little brown shadow, matte brown shadow around the edges of my eye, the corner, the external corner, because I think it gives more definition because I don't have a mascara right now so <laughs> it kind of looks incomplete but I think it looks good like um don't mistake this is like just shadows on my eyes like not eyeshadow on my eyes shadows on my eyes but I think the color looks very nice and it looks very nice for brown eyes mm. I like it now I feel like <laughs> I don't have blush anymore. <laughs> Khaki feelings. Oh my god. I've never ever in my whole life thought that I would say I don't have enough blush. I feel like I really need a concealer though. I'm really struggling here without a concealer. <laughs> the highlighter. The eyeshadows. Well, this has been fun the blush mm. i'm really loving this so that's it for today i hope you guys like the video let me know in the comments if you like if you don't like what's going on if you are interested to try this makeup uh if you want me to try something else if you want me if you would like to know to to see like a kind of a series of videos about like coloring like coloring makeup personal coloring because i love the subject i know a lot about the subject there are a lot of videos out there, but I also could like just make a wrap up. Let me know if you guys want down here in the comment box. Like, subscribe, all the all the jazz. And thank you so much. Have a good one. Bye.